Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming to you guys with a coupon code and you know what? I don't even know if I should say that this video is sponsored or not. Um, but they did send me this product. I have been working with Vanity Planet for a minute now and they send me the most cute gadgets and I usually share it with you guys because they give me a coupon code. So I guess you can say it's sponsored. This is a sponsored video, but this is all my opinion. It's not really an opinion. It's really just me showing you how I cleanse my skin. And I have been using this new gadget. Oh my God, I wish I was Oprah so I could be like, you get a mini pro, you get a mini pro, and you get a mini pro. I've had a few people ask me, you know, what I do for my skin. I personally don't think that my skin is flawless by no means. It's not flawless but I do take care of it as much as I can. Step one. My favorite makeup wipes are actually from um, e.l.f. Which are very inexpensive. I get these right from Target. And these basically help you get off your stubborn makeup before you even start washing your face. So I definitely suggest that you get a good makeup wipe. It doesn't have to be expensive. There are so many different options. I also like, you know, other like Walmart brand or the Target brand. It doesn't matter to me. Just, of course, look at the ingredients list <laughs> a btw <laughs> i started using makeup wipes and baby wipes because i used to just go in and wash my face and then i would use a towel to dry my face and seriously i messed up all our towels and if you've seen our boyfriend tag a while ago you guys know Devin said i hate washing towels <laughs> So he used to get so mad that I ruined all the towels with my makeup. So I just, you know, I made sure I went and got some makeup wipes, you guys. So yeah, step one is take off your makeup with a wipe, a makeup wipe or a baby wipe. Step two is to use some type of oil, which this is my unrefined virgin coconut oil that I use on my hair for a pre-poo. So a pre-poo for our face, our skin, um, is also good. Coconut oil is amazing for that. All of the same benefits you get from coconut oil on your hair, of course you get it on your skin as well. Another oil I like to use is sweet almond oil. Um, it says almond oil is a natural oil that's perfect for nourishing and reviving any skin type. Almond oil is easily absorbed and won't clog your pores. Promotes clear, soft, and healthy skin. It's a natural skin nourishing oil and it's ideal for your entire body. And so I usually just pour a little bit of that in my hand, rub it all over my face and massage it in. It definitely gets off stubborn mascara and liner, all that stuff, because I usually wear my cat eye, so that stuff stays. So using oils help, you know, break up all of that makeup. So once I do that, that's when I'll go in one time with my Olay Foaming Face Wash. I have, I've been rocking with Olay for a long time. Um, so I just use their, their normal foaming face wash and I just put that right on top of the oil, do it with my hand, um, and wash my face. And then I go in a second time and that's when I'll use this um, gadget. I used to use my other one, which is over there. It's my um, Spin for Perfect Skin. And I still have a coupon code for that. Um, it's while supplies last. And I haven't really been promoting it. So there are some left if you want to get um, the other gadget. But this is an upgrade from the other one I showed you. And I'll link it in this video. So this is an upgrade because... This is an upgrade because the spin for perfect skin, you needed a battery, which is a-okay because I haven't replaced the battery once yet. And I use that probably like once or twice a week. And, you know, um, and I've been okay with the battery. But if your battery dies in the middle of you washing your face, you're going to be so pissed, especially if you don't have any backup batteries, you know. 
Um, so the good thing about this Mini Pro is it's, you know, it's up with technology. It's just like your cell phone. You can um, charge it. So it has a USB charger. So there it is. And then you just plug this part into, you know, just like your cell phone. And that's how you charge it. And you just plug that in. I mean, your cell phone should have one of these removable things. So that's how you charge the um, thing. And I need to charge mine. Um, but another, oh, I don't need to charge it. Yay. So, um, yeah, so here it is. There's an on and an off button. And there's also a reverse, um, a reverse, um, button. <laughs> there's an on and off switch and there's a reverse button because you can change the way the, the brush spins. Another good thing about this is this is a silicone bristle brush. So this won't wear down as much as a regular, you know, brush would. But you do have that detachment if you want to use that. But I like the silicone one. It just feels so good. Um, there's also a replacement in here. Um, so the docking station has a replacement inside of there. I'm going to put this one in here too. So they are clean and protected. There's a little little thing sticking out right there so you can pop it right on. So here's the docking station and as you can see I have both of the bristles in there. And there is the docking station like so. Um, but yeah so there is my mini pro you guys. I love this thing. I love it. Thumbs up for a giveaway. So I just use this on my face once to twice a week before y'all I was so excited about trying that thing I was doing it every night and sometimes I even did it in the morning and then at night and one of my subbies was like girl that's too much <laughs> you're gonna make your skin raw but seriously you don't need to use it that often because it works that well and you're getting off dead skin cells and just all that stuff that's in your pores so again it's too aggressive to use like daily. You should definitely do it like once or twice a week. That's all you need. Um, and I usually do it at night. <laughs> so after my skin is clean, I rinse it off, of course. And then I go in with my toner, again, just from Olay, nothing serious. No big deal whatsoever, but I do use this toner, and I use it with a cotton ball. Yep. So once I'm all done with that, then I go in with my Olay Protective Renewal Lotion, and it also has SPF um, 15 in there. So I use this as my moisturizer. So of course, just like our hair, we don't want to, you know, add moisture, cleanse it, and then just leave it be. You need to use um, a moisturizer, which I just use this one. It's just their Classic Renewal Lotion. It has sunscreen, SPF 15 in there. No big deal, I just like to use this and I always rub it in an upward motion. If you don't want to use lotion or a moisturizer, you can use an oil, a very light oil. Don't go for heavy oils like castor oil or anything, but you can use something like almond oil or coconut oil and also use it as an under eye cream. I still have not found a nice eye cream. Um, like I said, my um, a makeup artist in Atlanta, his name is Kelvin, he told me that everyone should be using an eye cream, especially like once you turn 18, that's when the aging process really starts to kick in there. And your under eye area is the first thing to age. So listen, if I have any young girls out there watching this video, make sure you invest in a nice eye cream because you don't want you know too much aging going on in your eye area so you can reverse that reverse that by taking care of it by using an eye cream at night so um 
Africa Miranda suggested, which I need to go get some more of this, by the way, you guys. It's like literally like a little bit at the bottom. Um, but yeah, she suggested I just use coconut oil as an eye cream. So, you know, eye creams are expensive. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to rock out with coconut oil until I find a good eye cream. But, I mean, seriously, use something to help that anti-aging, I mean, stop that aging around your eyes. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I definitely wanted to show you guys this Mini Pro 360 brush from Vanity Planet. And, again, I have a coupon code for you guys, and it's, it's, it's ETC Blog Mini. And, you guys, this thing, all of these, um, let me take this off, all of these brushes for your face are freaking expensive like i'm serious no matter where you go they're over a hundred dollars and that is crazy and even on this website it is it's over a hundred dollars but with my coupon code you get 74 percent off i don't know why they didn't put 70 i mean 75 but i think my coupon was really supposed to be 70 percent off but they put it to 74 percent off so you got a little extra but they should have just went to 75 don't you think <laughs> rounds it up but anyway so everyone you can try this out for yourself and you can use my coupon code etc blog mini and get 74 percent off so this knocks it down like so much like i think you save like a hundred dollars so you get it for like i think it's like 30 or 40 bucks um and it's so worth it seriously it's really worth it take care of your skin because we are aging i don't care how old you are you're aging okay so we have to take care of our skin and you don't have to be over the top with it i know some people like i said spend so much money on face products and stuff i don't i get my olay products right from walmart <laughs> i get my coconut oil from walmart and um yeah so everything's not everything's inexpensive here everything um so yeah i hope you guys got some tips i really just wanted to come to you guys with this mini pro 360 and give you that coupon code um but i figured you know i need to tell you guys more how i wash my face so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope you got some tips and i'm no expert so if you guys have any tips or tricks Leave them in the comment section because you may help the next chick. You know what I mean? You might even help me. Um, but yeah, don't be shy. Leave comments. And I will work on a giveaway for you guys. Um, hopefully, I can work it out before I get this video out to you. Um, but the coupon code is awesome touch. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, girls. Mwah. Oh, you guys I almost forgot. So I hope I look right in this video, you guys, because I um, have on matte, um, MAC Stone Lippy. And I've been playing around with it, trying to figure out how I can make it look right on my skin. It looks absolutely beautiful in the container. And I posted this on my Instagram page a while ago and suggested, like, oh, my God, y'all, this is so pretty. And you guys, when I put it on my lips, I just don't like it. So I've been playing around with different lip liners to see if I can make this look right. Um, so you guys let me know, what do you think about MAC Stone? Um, it's absolutely beautiful in the tube, but on my lips, I think I look dead. Like I look coughing ready, like seriously. Somebody said they look like they've been smoking weed. But I have to make this work because it is so pretty. But you guys let me know how I look with this MAC Stone if you... Mm. if you have max stone let me know what lip liner do you use do you like the color and all that good stuff but yeah um i definitely wanted to touch on that in case i look absolutely insane in this whole video or if i look dead doing my skincare routine <laughs> um but anyway thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video for real this time <laughs>